What I do, opinion writing, is meant to provoke. It's meant to produce a reaction. Uh, and that's why I always tell people, um, I'm either in the heating business or the lighting business. That's so what I do. I'm either doing a heating or a lighting. I'm either stoking up an emotion in you or I'm illuminating something for you. And if I do it right, I will produce one of any number of reactions. You might read my column and say, I, I didn't know that. That's a good reaction. I produced some light. I never looked at it that way. More light, that's good. I never connected those things. More light, that's good. Your favorite, you live for this as a column. This happens four times a year if you're lucky. You said exactly what I felt, Mr. Friedman, but I didn't know how to say it. God, God bless you. I want to kill you dead, you and all your offspring. I get that. Um, uh, <laughs> that tells me I produce some heat. Um, anyways, I explained to you that to produce heat and light required a chemical reaction. And you had to combine three chemicals. Uh, the first is, what is your value set? What are, the, what are the principles and ideals you're trying to push into the world as a columnist? Are you a communist, a capitalist, a neocon, a neoliberal, a libertarian, a Keynesian, a Marxist? What are the ideas and principles you're pushing that are the foundation of your opinions? Second, how do you think the machine works? So the machine is my shorthand for what are the biggest forces shaping more things in more places in more ways and more days? As a columnist, I'm always carrying around in my head a working hypothesis about how the biggest gears and pulleys of the world work. Why? Because I'm just trying to take my values and push the machine in their direction. And if I don't know how it works, I either won't push it or I'll push it in the wrong direction. So I'm always thinking about what are the big gears and pulleys of the world? And lastly, what have you learned about people and culture? Because there's no column without people and there are no people without culture. How does the machine affect different people and culture? And how do they come back and affect the machine? Stir those three together, let it rise, bake for 45 minutes. And if you do it right, you will produce a column for the New York Times that, that creates heat or light.